Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day, showing you everything that I eat in a day. Uh, today it's kind of themed-ish, I guess, um, but I've got three specific recipes that I want to try out today that are kind of fally. It just started being fallish outside, and I went apple picking, so I want to make like an apple crisp, I think, for dessert tonight. Then right now for lunch, I want to make a butternut squash soup, and then for dinner, I'm going to make like this kind of halloumi and eggplant mushroom kind of stew i guess which i'm also really excited about so kind of cozy recipes but still kind of staying within my caloric goals and although i'm going to be doing a lot of cooking today these are meals that i'm going to be able to eat oh oven's preheated <laughs> meals that i'm going to be able to eat throughout the week so like i would never cook this much generally on one day but i figured i would film it for you and like the stew and the soup are both things that i think will uh freeze very well or be easily meal prepped which is something that i do a lot is kind of cook in batches because um, if I don't have food to eat then that's when things tend to go awry and I start to eat a lot of food in a high quantity that's not that good for me and these are all these are both gonna be vegetarian dishes as well I might have some like deli slices or something with the soup I don't know but anyways uh, let's go ahead and start cooking So I've cut up the butternut squash and I tossed it in onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, rosemary, sage, thyme, and a little turmeric. And I used a little bit of this avocado spray oil. So I'm going to roast this in the oven and then when it comes out I'm going to add some mushroom broth, almond milk if it needs any liquid, and maybe some fat free cream cheese to kind of thicken it up. But I want it to be quite a thick soup. I'm going to roast it, I don't know how long. 425 I can maybe do this in the air fryer but I think I'm just gonna do it in the oven just because I want it to get really nice and roasty I don't have a recipe I'm making it up as I always do uh, but yeah now I'm gonna roast this and I will report back when that is done and you can also buy a uh, frozen butternut squash if you don't want to mess around with a real squash but I would like I said I went apple picking and it was two dollars for butternut squash which is an awesome deal at least in my opinion so uh, I decided to get the real thing and this is a sweet onion I believe so here are the roasted veggies they were in for about 40 minutes at 425 and now I'm gonna get into the blending process I just have it on my scale there so I can weigh the things that are going in but I wanted to show you when I'm creating recipes I use my fitness pal to track all my food and oh I didn't save it so like you come in here and you just create a recipe enter ingredients manually title it add how many servings and then you add in everything and then that way um, you have the recipe in your phone and I'll post um, what I ended up putting in here so I'm gonna add this into the blender blend it up and then see what kind of I'll probably blend it with a little bit of the Philadelphia and a little bit of the mushroom broth and see where I end up in terms of texture Then I'm gonna put it back into a pot just to heat it up further because the mushroom broth is cold So here is lunch. I am so pumped about this. I tried this soup. It's amazing. I forgot to mention I added uh, curry powder to the soup as well. I thought I was going to get three servings out of it. I only got two because the squash wasn't as big as I thought. But I've got a serving of that for tomorrow. The best part of soup, in my opinion, is bread. So <laughs> I have this sliced sourdough loaf, two slices of that toasted with some of this basil on there. And then some of this hickory smoked turkey breast, just because the soup is so light, I needed to add in some protein into the meal. But again, if you're vegetarian, you can skip that. You could add tofu to this or whatever you want. Um, so yeah, I am so excited about this. It looks amazing. It is time for a very, very cliche snack. Having kind of avocado toast. So I have mashed avocado here with a little lemon juice, salt, pepper, and garlic salt. Chopped up a vine tomato. 
and then I'm going to be using these corn thins. I got these from well.ca, but you can get them at Bulk Barn, probably other places too. They're probably at the grocery store. Three of them are 69 calories, and then good old everything but the bagel spice. But what I will say is every time I watch, not every time, but let's say 70 times, 70% 70 of the time I watch a What I Ate in a Day, it's like avocado toast for breakfast, smoothie bowl for lunch, salmon and greens for dinner. And I'm like, okay, that's great that everybody in the world seems to eat that, but I've learned nothing about what I can eat because that's what everybody shows they're eating. Uh, so it's not something I eat that often, but I was kind of craving it because I bought these rice, or just not sorry, rice uh, corn thins. So I'm just gonna assemble these, super simple. So here is the finished snack and it's been quite a few hours since I ate lunch. I didn't find lunch to be like that particularly filling. Luckily I had a really busy day. So I did have some watermelon right after I had lunch for something a little bit sweet. I've been trying to cut out having like an actual sweet treat after lunch. Um, Cause I was eating ice cream and stuff after lunch. Um, so yeah, I had some watermelon right after lunch, but I am quite hungry. And then while I was filming, I was just filming like some lip swatch videos. I did have I'm still kind of working on this little So it is not really time for dinner just yet, but I am going to start cooking just so that I have some light because it gets dark so early now. So I'm going to make the eggplant kind of stew that I mentioned. I was Googling around for halloumi recipes because I knew that I wanted to eat halloumi. And I saw this eggplant bake. I don't really have a lot of baking dishes, condo life. So I'm going to make it into like an eggplant stew. And then I've got some leftover mashed potatoes that I might serve that on top of with fried halloumi cheese. If you've never had halloumi, it's like a... A frying cheese like it doesn't melt but it's like squeaky and salty it's weird I don't know I like I like the squeaky texture and then I'm also gonna be making an apple crisp with the apples that I um, picked over the weekend and again I don't have a recipe for that making it all up as I go I believe apple crisp is the one that has oats and crumble is the one that has flour so I think I'm gonna do the oats one because I feel like that's gonna be a little easier and I bought monk fruit which is my favorite sugar substitute so I'm gonna use that I haven't ba I've baked with that a few times and that is my favorite kind of sugar sugar substitute so let's go ahead and get cooking and if you're curious about this makeup look um, I did film it for Instagram I think it should be up I'll link it down below and my hair is in pigtails because I sleep with my hair in pigtails for curls and I'm kind of done for the day in terms of like anything that I need to do with my face so hairs and pigtails but let's do it so here's everything that's gonna go into this stew eggplants which I actually I don't think I've ever cooked with eggplants before uh, then I have some cremini mushrooms onion I'm gonna use these no salt added diced tomatoes I've got some fresh garlic and then for my spices I kind of wanted to have like a Italianish feel I guess so I've got rosemary sage basil and some chili flakes even though it's Italian seasoning so what I'm gonna do is just chop the onion probably leave the mushrooms as they are kind of like big trunks of mushrooms and I'm gonna fry these at first I'm doing it all in a wok I find that is the best way to cook stews because our wok is so non-stick and it's just really easy for cleanup it's nice and deep so i'm going to saute those then i'm going to add in the eggplant once those are like halfway cooked add in the eggplant i'll add in my spices as well and then add in the diced tomatoes and just let it all kind of cook down i don't want the eggplant to get like too mushy because i feel like it can kind of get a little mushy especially where it's going to sit in the fridge for a little bit for a couple days as i eat it so this will probably be probably be one of the last things I put in I guess again I'm not that familiar with eggplant but I feel like it'll cook the fastest of the onions mushrooms and eggplant so yeah like I said I'm just kind of making this up you could serve it over rice I was debating putting potato in it you could serve it with bread or I don't know it's just kind of something I made up So my stew is cooking and it's time for another snack. I realized that the stew is like super low calorie. I actually add, ended up adding a little bit of corn to it as well. Put lots of halloumi on there. So I'm gonna have some of these Frankie's Organic Clouds in the jalapeno flavor. Again, I got these from Wall.ca, I got up in order, not sponsored, just 
bought a bunch of snacks. They are not particularly low calorie, but like I just portioned it out. I have 35 grams of those. And then I wanted to try these. They're the Good News Gummies. I know in my last What I Ate In A Day, or actually I don't know what order they're all going up in, but I tried the new Smart Sweets Peach Rings. So I wanted to give these a try. They're another kind of like fibery gummy. Let me just try it. Not as chewy as the Smart Sweets if you don't like the Smart Sweets ones. They're almost like a little bit juicier, but there's a ton of fiber in a bag, so just be careful with the amount you eat. I'm having 20 grams of them there. They're really like, these types of things are super pricey, but delicious and I love trying new snacks. So I like those and they're in the peach passion flavor. And I'm gonna have some water and that is gonna be probably my last snack until dinner. So dinner is served. I'm honestly not super excited about this eggplant stew that I made. It's way too much. Like I thought it was gonna be three servings. So I have half of what I thought was gonna be a serving in here. And then I have some leftover potato for my potato skin recipe from my last video. So I just added a little of the basil and almond milk to that to make a mashed potato. And then I have the halloumi, which is just the fried cheese. I just put it in a pan for like a minute or two on each side with a little bit of spray oil. It's already quite fatty, so it doesn't need oil. So basically the stew was just a vehicle or an excuse to eat halloumi the same way the soup was an excuse to eat <laughs> the bread, but I think it's gonna taste good. I just, I don't know, I have two servings or I guess maybe like four servings left over. So I'll probably freeze one of these and then eat the other here. And then here are all the ingredients for my apple crisp, which is in the oven. So we'll chat about that when it's done. So here's a serving of the crisp. I took it out of the oven and just let it cool a little bit so I could put some ice cream on top because what is an apple crisp without ice cream? I have some of the Briars Delights um, vanilla to put on top. And then that is going to be it. I probably could have made this a little bit lighter in terms of the ingredients that I put in. But this is my first time playing around. I'll link the recipe down below that I used. I really kind of ad-libbed it. So I'll make note of what I changed in the description as well. Because I can never follow a recipe. That's why I like to cook and not bake. But yeah, that is everything that I ate in a day today. I know this was a little bit longer, a little bit chattier, but because I was trying out some new recipes, I wanted to chat my way through, but a very delicious day of food, I gotta say, and I'm super pumped to have this apple crisp because warm desserts with like ice cream on top is one of my favorite things in the world. So uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jean YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.